Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last episode, we met Beto, the Rio Negro Stream tree frog, Uh, who wasn't one for, uh, you know, relaxing very much. He liked excitement and adventure, which led him into quite a predicament. A black caiman was now after him. And on top of that, he injured his leg. Just when Beto thought he was a goner, he was snatched up by a sticky foot What? and flung into a nearby tree. This is where he waited nervous, who possibly might have saved him, or worse, taken him captive for their own snack. As Beto tried to hop away, he realized that his leg had only gotten worse. He couldn't jump as high or as fast as he normally could, and he was in too much pain to move quickly. Are you okay, Beto? His friend Lucia asked. We need to get you out of here. Beto turned his head quickly and jumped a little. Oh, he was relieved it was a friend after all and not another predator. I think I'll be okay. I can't hop very well right now. As Beto looked up again, he realized there was a whole bunch of his frog friends surrounding him. They actually heard him calling for help. The frogs slowly made their way to a higher branch of the tree and sat together. Pedro, King Factual, spoke up. Don't worry, Beto. We'll get you out of here. You know, frogs like us are super quick to heal. It's one of our talents, if I do say so myself. And it's pretty amazing how our skin color and pattern can change depending on our surroundings making it harder for predators to spot us. Okay, okay, Pedro, that's enough. He has to be exhausted. Lucia knew Pedro could talk all day about things he knew and facts he had gathered through his ears. Beto had been listening in silence, grateful for his friends, even if all the facts were a bit much at the moment. Even though he was in pain and still a bit shaken from the encounter with the caiman, he felt a sense of pride in being part of such a fascinating species of frogs. Thanks, everyone. I I don't know what I could have done without you. We're always here for each other, replied Lucia. That's what friends are for. Beto and his friends sat and rested a while in the safety of the tree. He settled down on a comfortable branch and his friends brought him some insects to eat. Now the only problem was that they needed to get to the other side of the river again. The longer they waited, the longer the caiman had to think of a way to get them. They thought they had a little bit longer to rest and think, but the caiman had other plans. It started to swim toward them again with both eyes locked onto Beto. Wow, this caiman is relentless. The friends came up with a quick plan that would have to do. They formed a line, each frog using their sticky toes to hold onto the frog in front of them. They created a chain 
that stretched from tree to the trees across the river. Don't worry, Beto. We won't let you become the Cayman's next meal, Lucia said. With Beto's injury, he had to trust the others would hold on to him. He didn't have the strength in his legs to hold on by himself. But just then, the Cayman lunged forward, snapping its powerful jaws. With one huge swing, the line of frogs flew over the Cayman and made it across the river once and for all. Oh, uh, thank you, my friends, Beto said, grateful for their quick thinking and bravery. As they all climbed back up the trees, Beto's friend Pedro asked, So, why did the Cayman come after you in the first place? Beto explained, I heard a noise from the river and wanted to check it out. I think it was actually the Cayman's stomach growling. Well, we Rio Negro stream tree frogs are tough and adaptable, but we still have to be careful out here in the jungle. (laughs) The other tree frogs nodded, and they all agreed. They settled back into the trees to enjoy the rest of their day. He knew that there would be many more adventures to come, but he also knew that he could count on his friends to have his back with their sticky toes. (laughs) Wow, that's a pretty awesome story about having good friends. Do you have good friends around you? Or are you a good friend? Yeah, sometimes we are like Beto and we need help. That's okay to need help from friends or our family. Yeah, or sometimes we are the friends of Beto. Well, whatever it may be, may you be a great friend. Whenever someone needs you to pull them out from a caiman's mouth. (laughs) The end. It's time for Critter Protector shoutouts. I want to say hey to Bennett from Minnesota, Austin from Arkansas, Arav from Georgia, Callie from Indiana, Teddy from Maryland and George from Vermont. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda. We believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.